The Biden administration appears to be steering us into a war with Iran. But not only the Biden administration, some of the top Republicans as well. Here was Lindsey Graham on NBC's Meet the Press. You said this week that the only way to keep the war from escalating is to hold Iran accountable, part yes. of what you're talking about now, yeah. and that it might mean bombing their oil refineries. Yeah. Have you had any discussions with the Biden administration about this? A, a bit. Here's my message. If Hezbollah, which is a proxy of Iran, launches a massive attack on Israel, I will consider that a threat to the, um, to, to the state of Israel, existential in nature. I will introduce a resolution in the United States Senate to allow military action by the United States in conjunction with Israel to knock Iran out of the oil business. Iran, if you escalate this war, we're coming for you. Are you effectively poised to declare war on Iran? That's very strong language. I, I am poised to use military force to destroy the source of funding for Hamas and Hezbollah. Here's Tucker Carlson asking retired Colonel Douglas McGregor if we're gonna go to war with Iran. Do you think that we are moving toward war with Iran? <clears throat> yes, I do. And uh, it looks like the chosen destination is indeed Armageddon. There doesn't seem to be any real appreciation for the implications for us and, and frankly, for Europe and the world, as well as the Middle East, of such action. You know, take for an example, just on the economic side, about 20 uh, percent of the world's oil passes through the Straits of Hormuz every month, uh, uh, probably 25 percent of liquefied natural gas. And you're talking about shutting down two to three million barrels uh, a day of oil from Iran. Uh, you know, it, this entire region is involved in the war. This is not an Iranian monopoly by any stretch of the imagination. But the point is that when we're looking at 10 year Treasury yields up over 5% and people are increasingly convinced that the Fed has lost control, the economic side of the house is catastrophe. Then when you look at the military side, you have to look at the arsenal of missiles that Iran possesses. And they can reach out 1,200 miles with great precision, very uh, high explosive conventional warheads that would do enormous damage, destroying whole city blocks in places like Haifa, Tel Aviv, even Jerusalem, though I doubt they would attack Jerusalem. The missile and space program in Iran is very, very advanced as is their cyber warfare capability. All of these things would be brought to bear against us. But what's most important, I think, for Americans to understand is if we attack Iran on the basis of Hezbollah's alleged willingness to attack Israel if Israel invades Gaza, we will end up in a fight with Russia. Russia will not sit by quietly and watch Iran destroyed by the United States air and naval power in the region. And once Russia enters this, uh, it, it becomes much more than just a local conflict, maybe more than just a regional war. Uh, we haven't thought this through. We need to do that. As Colonel McGregor said, this scenario would be catastrophic. I hope there are people in Washington that will do some thinking first. This has been Joe in Babylon.